I'm super mad at you. How could you go to a riot without me? You were supposed to be my riot buddy. Shit. Fuck it. Do it live. Rise and shine, motherfuckers. I am your host, The Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. This year marks the 50th fucking anniversary of the riots of 68, when millions of Parisian students and workers cut class, walked off the job, drank wine, built barricades, ate croissants, fought the pigs, and tried their best to overthrow the French motherfucking government. They were anarchists, most of them. That was the spirit. And that although they were the furthest out in any way politically, that was also the one place where workers joined with students and almost toppled the government. Your revolution is over, Mr. Lebowski. Condolences, the bomb's lost. And in the decades that have followed, riots and labor unrest have become as French as a mind-playing frere fucking jack on an accordion. That's so problematic. So it's no fucking surprise that peeps in France have decided to honor the anniversary in the only way you'd expect. <laughs> Not what I had in mind. That's right, the French fucking poulet are once again on the back foot as swarms of black clad cop bashing Cortez de Tête, beating them back, hawking bottles, and doing Les Smashy Smash. This time around, La Mer is hitting the fan. After Emmanuel Macron, the radical neoliberal centrist piece of shit, elected to power last year on a strict platform of not being Marine Le Pen, announced plans to push through sweeping changes to France's state-run rail system, the SNCF. These reforms include cutting the strong employment protection rights of rail workers and taking the initial steps to privatize the SNCF by publicly listing it on the stock market. Part of a broader attack on public sector workers being carried out in the name of EU integration. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. But the country's famously militant workers aren't gonna take that shit lying down. And they've been joined by students pissed off at plant university reforms, not to mention all the sketchy French youths who jump at the opportunity to break from their daily ennui to throw down against the pigs. Because, after all, Yep, once again, peeps in France did not fucking disappoint. Shit started really popping off on March 22nd, 50 years to the day that radical students first occupied the Université Paris-Nanterre, kicking off a historic wave of resistance that followed. In an impressive display of decentralized coordination, 180 demonstrations took place across France, including wildcat strikes that seriously jammed up France's transportation grid, and massive protests featuring militant black blocs that were reminiscing of the 2016 movement against the so-called Loi de Travail. But in a stark reminder of how the political winds have shifted over the past two years, later that evening a student occupation of an auditorium in Montpellier University was visually attacked by a mob of mass fascists, including members of the right-wing student group GUD and several teachers who were recognized and outed by their students. These goons rampaged through the halls wielding wooden pallets and tasers, seriously injuring four people, including two students who had to be hospitalized with skull fractures. Several witnesses accused the dean of the university's law faculty, Philippe Petel, of orchestrating the attack after he allegedly let the thugs in through a back door and cheered as they literally cracked his other students' skulls. I am very proud of my students. I fully support them. What was done had to be done. We cannot make omelets without breaking some eggs. Tuesday, April 3rd saw the start of three months of planned rolling strikes by SNCF workers. And with the large national union, the CGT, calling for a general strike on April 19th, shit looks like it's just starting. Something tells me that this year, May Day in Paris is gonna be one for the cookbooks. Last but not least, 59 badass motherfuckers were arrested for defiantly invading the streets of DC during the inauguration of the Orange One are about to have their day in court and face potential sentences of 61 fucking years in the clink. Their supporters have called for a day of solidarity on April 10th, so you know the deal. 
drop banners, write graffiti, hold events, and flood social media channels to help bring visibility to our comrades. For details, visit defendj20resistance.org. And that's all the fucking news for this week. As always, if you want to support my ass, shoot me some ducats at sub.media slash donate. And be sure to check me out on all your favorite corporate brainwashing and mass surveillance platforms. Just search Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras.